r slash ask reddit. Workers, how did you get your boss fired? Not my story but my mother's, I watched on the sidelines as a teenager. My mother's job was basically a professional fundraiser, I really don't know what else to call it. People came to her for help raise money for non-profits or other foundations that needed it. This was a long time ago before social workers were more of a mandatory thing at high schools, my high school was very poor, and did not have one. So my mother took it upon herself to set up a fundraiser to pay the salary of a social worker so my high school could have won. After raising all the money she went to talk to the principal who flat out refused to take any of it, and said the position just wasn't necessary. My mother was pretty upset and just decided she would donate the money to supplies or something like that. I honestly have no idea what she did with it, but it did go to some sort of charity. After a few months, at a Christmas party the superintendent of all the public schools in the area was at the same party, and he struck up a conversation with my mother. After some small talk my mother said that it was such a shame that principal didn't take the money for the social worker's position. The superintendent was dumbstruck, and then told her that he had ordered principal to find funding for that position, and when superintendent asked him about it he replied with, no one is interested in that, and we just couldn't get the money for it. Needless to say he lost his position, and whenever we came back from the holiday break the school was hiring for his position. The cynic in me wonders if the principal worried that a social worker would call him out on whatever he was doing. Management was giving an injured worker hard time, not wanting to pay him, accusing him of gold bricking. Worker said, tell you what, do the right thing here, or you will be sorry. Management said, take your best shot. Worker called the EPA and APCD, told them where to find the logs that showed discrepancies in toxic material storage and usage. Sheriff's deputies showed up and raided the offices. Field supervisors from 10 years ago that had retired got some peonied. It was epic. Cost the company massively in fines and remediation. All because you wanted to save money on one poor bastard. Never 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 mess with the guy who knows where the real books are. On Brazilian TV I saw the wife of a politician throwing papers out of the window to the, the street below. I believe she'd caught him cheating, so went and got the real books, and threw them down to the press. Worked register at a tour company. I also had a manager who hated me for some reason. She was probably the bitchiest person I've ever met. Constantly yelled at us for no reason, got onto me about answering questions a new hire had, when I was asked, not her, wrote down I was 30 minutes late for a shift when I was 2 minutes late, etc etc. We had a sneaking suspicion that she was taking money from our tills, as she was always the one who counted down the till when someone got fired for stealing cash. I made it a habit to count down every bill when I gave it back to a customer, because we would get paid oct if we were even $1 off. So if a customer had $23 in change, I'd count 20, 1, 2, 3 in front of them, so I knew I'd given back the right amount. We also had cameras pouring at the registers. Well, one day my GM pulls me aside and says $20 was missing from my till and they were going to fire me. I straight up told my boss she could look at the cameras because I counted out all my bills for customers. Bitchy bitch was the one who counted down my till and got caught on tape pocketing the money. She was gone by my next shift. Duck you, Jennifer, I won. Why wouldn't they be checking cameras regardless if they are going to fire someone for stealing? What idiots. I didn't say it was a well run company. Not fired but transferred. Had a squad leader make us all stand out in the Missouri winter soaking wet until someone volunteered for weekend duty. I told him I had previous cold weather injuries, frostbite, he ignored it. The corporal saw my blue feet when I took off my boots and sent me to the aid station. The doctor lost his shit and that squad leader was in another company the next day. It's not as justice bonering as getting an asshole fired, but it's the army that's not gonna happen poor excuse for a leader. In the military, if someone doesn't volunteer, then as a squad leader, you pick someone. Simple as that. 
Something tells me he had to have a volunteer, because he was told to do the weekend duty, and his only way out of it was to get someone to willingly volunteer to take his place. I got my boss disbarred. He was an attorney who was a serial sexual abuser of female clients slash criminal defendants. He got away with it for over 20 years, and preyed upon at least 12 different victims. The Office of Attorney Regulation censured him multiple times for other offenses, like being late to pay his annual bar fees, but even though they knew about at least 5 of the victims, they wouldn't disbar him. I discovered that the Office of Attorney Regulation decides whether to pursue an action against an attorney, based on a cost-slash-benefit analysis. I gathered as much documentation of everything as I could, over a 6 month period. Hold up so they are a funded organization to ensure ethical behavior, which members pay for them to do, but they can decide they won't do anything, if they don't think it's worth their time. Not just if it's worth their time, but also if it's monetarily beneficial. Advanced through the company through hard work and dedication and slowly began to usurp the boss's duties and responsibilities. Eventually the owner realized what a lazy schmuck the old boss was, and laid him off. A week later I got a new title and a 35% raise. If only it worked out this way all the time. It seems the more I learn, and the more work I take on, the more I'm taken advantage of, and I never get compensated accordingly. I used to work at a title company, and witnessed our department manager forge mortgage documents on a fairly regular basis. So when she went to upper management, to throw the entire department under the bus for being behind on recording documents, I marched straight to HR to resign, and let them know what she was doing. She was fired, and they called me, and offered my job back before the week was out. Did you accept it to go back? I did. It was a better environment for a while, but then it got bad again. I moved on and work in healthcare now, and I'm much happier. For a while I was a project manager who got moved around from project, to project as a fixer. I was moved to a project, where the customer just could not be satisfied, no matter how many people, how much attention, how we bent over for them. Our programs director, who should have been our advocate, would not manage the customer, and instead just hammered his employees, to do more and more. People on our team, were being let, go due to failure, or quitting outright due to burnout, and he was bitching, that he couldn't get good people. Because of my sort of special position as general dog's body I happened to have the air of RVP, and this project came up in casual conversation. I mentioned that it seemed funny that, if the director was doing his job, how so many employees, that we knew by fact and reputation were good employees had failed. A week later I heard, that the director had been let go. And nothing of value was lost. Except the good employees. Did any of them return? Unknown, but it's a pretty robust industry, so I can only hope they are happily employed elsewhere. But yes, you're right. By doing so much it started an investigation into what they were actually doing during their day. Officially she was fired for sending nudes through corporate email, but the only reason they were tracking her email was to understand what she was spending her time on. Turns out it was an affair. I feel like most people have at least one coworker who could stand to have their time audited like that. It's a running joke at my job, that our two supervisors and the manager spend half the day in meetings. The office is too small for that now due to social distancing rules, so the supervisors just wander away every 15 minutes or so to openly stand there, and talk to whoever doesn't look too busy. Was working maintenance at an ice rink. The rule for anyone who knows how an ice rink works is, if the Zamboni doors open, you get the duck off the ice. Some dickhead decided to ignore the fact, that they were open and that I was standing in the doorway, and decided to rip off one last slap shot. The puck bounced off the glass, and hit me in the head. I was okay, but reported it to my boss, because we have to fill out an incident report for things like that. The boss asked, are you okay? I said I feel okay, then he responded with, well, we don't really have to report it then, do we? 
I reminded him of the protocol, but it was clear he didn't want to do it. Since he wouldn't do it, I sent a descriptive ML of the incident up to the administration, because I felt there should be some sort of documentation slash paper trail in case god forbid I ended up having a brain hemorrhage or something a few days later. The boss was fired by my next shift. I had a job that required my supervisor to be doing evaluations of my cases and charts. She just hadn't, in months. She and my director ordered me and my co-workers to do our own chart audits, fill out the forms, and they would sign off. I was so tired of not having adequate supervision, staff meetings weekly where she yelled at us, and invariably someone cried due to the stress and lack of support, and not having been paid enough to do everything I was doing in their job, I refused. I was told to do it, or I would be fired. Nope. So I got fired. On the way out to my car, I called my former director who had moved to another agency. She set up an interview for the next day, and I had a new job within 24 hours. She asked me what had happened at that interview. I spilled all the tea. Her sister-in-law was on the board of the previous agency, so she called her, and I told her everything too. Director was fired, and supervisor was reprimanded, and put on close monitoring. She had killed any chance of promotion, and left shortly afterwards, I heard. I was just happy to have jumped ship from that toxic mess. I should have left months earlier. Our manager spent her whole shift in the office watching us on camera, and if we so much as stopped to talk to each other she'd come out and yell at us to get back to work. She was completely immature. One time I left my water bottle at the front counter and my co-worker had to stop her from purposefully throwing it away. She would make up rules on the spot if she didn't like something someone did. I could go on. She was a terrible, unfriendly, hypocritical, mean manager. Honestly, we all just went to the owners and told them everything and how it made us feel. They got HR involved and got her fired and found out she may have been stealing or giving away product. It was such a relief. If you work for a small business, just be honest with the owners, if management isn't family. She was actually guarding herself from being caught. Anytime someone is that defensive and eager to point out the shortcomings of others in the workplace, chances are they're projecting their own guilt on some level 